Allied gliders that took part in the Netherlands airborne invasion await towing planes that will carry them out of Holland and back to England for further service. Field repairs are made on some of the gliders which were damaged while landing. Landings were made 17th September, north of Eindhoven, southeast of Nijmegen, and west of Arnhem, the largest airborne operation ever attempted. C-47s of the 9th Troop Carrier Command arrive on the continent with a double mission, to bring supplies for the front lines and pick up gliders from the Eindhoven sector. Major General Paul L. Williams, commanding general of the Troop Carrier Command, observes the unloading at a cargo terminal point. Meanwhile, at the glider field, an improvised airstrip, preparations are made for the pickup. Attaching the tow rope on one of the several types of gliders used during the airborne invasion. Now a C-47 taxis into a towing position to receive the other end of the rope. Signal for the takeoff. The first glider leaves Holland in what is reported to be the most extensive glider retrieving operation ever attempted. A special glider pickup device is used, designed to make the landing of a tow plane unnecessary. The glider is ready for a snatch pickup, but the tow rope snaps loose, springing back at the glider's nose. Another snatch pickup proves successful, demonstrating the practicability of retrieving a glider from a small pasture or relatively short takeoff strip. <laughs> 